Hello, everybody. Welcome to the third episode of the Mongo Melee podcast. We are on chapter three. Not joined by my usual co-host, Twitterless Parf, this week. He had to uh, do some traveling, so instead I'm joined by my good friend, uh, Lyndon Burton. What's up, my man? How you doing? Glad to be here. You know, it's good. It's good that I'm able to pinch hit when necessary. We, we got a lot of pinch hitters on the on the network. So glad to fill in for Twitter list park. But love what you guys are doing. Chapter two was great. And uh, can't wait to to uh, see the progression as y'all you guys continue on, you know. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. And, you know, always happy to have you on because, you know, you and me were both shown in meatheads so oh for sure we have a we have a lot of good, cool stuff to discuss most of the time that's a fact yeah. and just to let the people know by the time you hear this the latest episode of anime talk will be out too which you know oh, was, yeah. the, was been, delayed been because on that myself me and chris have just been busy as hell bro but yeah so y'all are getting yeah. a double dose of anime and manga goodness but yeah man excited to be here talking manga as always yeah it's been a busy week a couple weeks for everybody i feel mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. it's just been hectic yeah. man like my uh, just being that w- what what i do working at the radio station like because the pelicans have been winning and because mm-hmm. it's ul softball right now ul baseball and shout out to my guy charlie long i'm the only producer at my at my radio station so it's like just yeah. me so like it's been a lot like yeah because charlie got a new job so I've been hectic. And then like Chris's hours have been wild over there at his job. Like Christians had like some wild hours. It's just been hectic for a lot of people, bro. Jazz with school is ramping up. Yeah, I was going to say school is about to. Well, it's almost graduation. Fi- yes, right? It's almost yeah. Yeah, finals time. Yeah. Geez. Oof. Well, I wish everybody the best of luck, you know, and yep. we'll make but it through. It, we'll- we're almost to the summer, man, which will be good times yeah. ahead. We outside in yep. the, during the summer, <laughs> that's for sure. Fact. <laughs> right. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Today, uh, Golden Kamui ended today, actually. Damn. Yeah, I'm not quite caught up with it. I just read up to, I pretty much just read up to where the anime ended. So and I'm on season part- two of the anime, so. Yeah, I've watched season two and three and I was like, all right, I'm going to go back and read all of it from the beginning and they cut a surprising amount of stuff out and into like ovas and stuff and there's also things that just never really got adapted like animated which oh so now because now i'm not gonna finish the anime i'm gonna just read the manga now the anime is still really good though is it is like it's a great adaptation but I would definitely recommend reading the manga because there's a lot of good like translators notes okay. and stuff that give you a little more insight about references and historical facts and stuff like that. So oh. I would definitely recommend it. Hell yeah. I'm uh, a big I'm a big Golden Kamui fan. So to see it in, you know, great run. Great run. Yeah. Golden Kamui, I feel like is something it's really special in compared to ooh, a lot of the crowd in uh, manga like there's no like forced romance in it between yep. the two leads or anything it's a bit it's more of a mature story it's it's i'm pretty sure it's a seinen actually yeah i think might, it is yeah so i don't know i'm i'm excited to see the creator's next project which is apparently he's going to be redoing his hockey manga that he did before okay. which also takes place in Hokkaido so okay. that'll be pretty interesting hockey is like a really weird underrepresented <laughs> sport is. when it comes to sports anime but that's because it's not really like big in Japan like when you think of the sports True. that are big in Japan it's like funny enough basketball thanks to like what Yao Ming did for China and like making basketball huge in Asia mm-hmm. across from China to Japan to Korea so basketball is huge of course soccer but I would say baseball is bigger than soccer in my opinion I would say baseball is yeah I would say sure. baseball is number one then funny enough basketball then soccer and then everything else like it, it, it really doesn't matter about the other if you yeah count that. honestly <laughs> wrestling would be up, uh, above basketball be like, that, yeah yeah like, be like two probably exactly like in combat <laughs> sports would definitely be two and then like you said professional wrestling in terms of like american like the quote-unquote fake wrestling that's definitely number two because they have 
New Japan Pro Wrestling. I don't know why. Yeah. I, I, I know that, but I've gotten into wrestling recently. So, but yeah, no. So that's why you don't see a lot of hockey things. So it's interesting to see what, what he's going to do. But yeah, just to go back to uh, Golden Comedy, it is a saying. It was on Young Jump uh, Comics with uh, Winkly, Weekly Young Jump. Yeah. So I'm excited to see that because there's really, I can't think of any besides I don't, for like, pride of orange which was a like one shot anime there's like no monk like hockey manga i can think of so that's yeah, pretty exciting actually i can't think of it. it's like it's like american football how there's just eye shield like can't think of any yeah. I- any major hockey well look wait hold on i'm pulling it up right now so these are some of the hockey manga you got go ahead which is like some 80s thing you got super Super Pinamarada, which is a seinen, which looks kind of newy, and then the rest I of the stuff. I think that is, is. I think that's actually the is, one I'm talk, like, uh, yeah. okay, okay. Well, yeah, because I was and I was about to say the rest are like kind of romancy. Besides Tetsuan Break, which is a shonen that's like super early, but everything else is real relationshipy, more shoujo in a uh, slice of life. Yeah, maybe I'll go on like a weird uh, sports manga binge at some point. There's some I've, good I've, ones. I found a random sailing manga for a buddy of mine that has like, it literally has like three Google results if you Google it. It's called Kaze no Jin. <laughs> it's okay. from like the 80s or something. Never translated. But it looks pretty like sailing is just a random thing. For yes, it to be. Yeah. super random. When it comes to sports for me, with the manga, it's got a it's high Q one, and then I I go Kuroko Ko no Basket over Slam Dunk just because I think it's a better basketball story in the sense of how teams play. But I think Slam Dunk is a better executed manga. But I just like the 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 S- Slam Dunk is kind of more about the character drama. Yeah, it is. And then, then the sport. Actually, it, yeah. I was having this discussion with uh, Pete, shout out Pete from What Do You Say Anime, that I felt like there's kind of like a scale for sports manga and anime where some of them are more focused on the, the actual sport, yep. whereas the other ones use the sport as a vehicle for like the character. The character story, drama. yeah. Yeah. And that's why Haikyuu is the best because it does the best of both worlds. Like if it, Haikyuu really shows you the sport of volleyball but it, it it's about the characters but at the same time it shows you what it's like to be on a team and like the realistic results of like competition and that's why i love haikyuu the best because it does a little bit of everything the best way possible i'm gonna watch or read haikyuu at some point i've heard the anime is like a serviceable adaptation it is i read um, i prefer reading it but the anime is not bad at least for the beginning stuff like once okay. you once you uh get past Sh- Shira Torizawa, which is like the major team, after that arc, I would recommend reading. But like the beginning stuff with Abajota, Abajosai and Shira Torizawa, which are like the two major arcs, those arcs are dope uh, watching in, in anime form. Okay. Okay, word. I'll just, uh, I'll probably just read it then, honestly. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> is it in the Shonen Jump app? Ah, uh, I can check right Let now. Me, yeah, I can... <laughs> I got it. I just pulled it up. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. I know you got to go search. H. Yep, it it's is there. Actually. Yep, all, all of it's it. there. Nice. Too. All right. Yep. I might actually go read that. Speaking of uh, Haikyuu, have you read the uh, one shot that came out for it yet? No, I have not. I need to. But I need to finish I've... Haikyuu before I, I read the one shot. Okay. I've heard yeah. there is a lot of really good fan service in it. Like, not okay. fan service as in like... Not fan services in like you know cake yeah, tits no. and ass, but fan, <laughs> fan services in like these characters you wanted to meet up, finally meeting up and interacting. It's and ending stuff like the right that. way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like a good Ooh. send off, more or less. So, Hell yeah, I'm I, like 200 chapters behind. So if it's like Jesus. 400, <laughs> no, well, but I'm I'm I just finished Shira Torizawa, so like I'm not into the post uh high Damn school good. season like they're, they're the stuff that i'm i gotta read is like the aau select team national team shit hmm. okay I it mean, might not even I be actually... 200 chapters it might be less got you got you i'll probably start that i want to catch up with golden Co- well i say catch up <laughs> i'm gonna finish golden yeah. Kamui basically at this point and then 
I'll probably start reading that, honestly. But See, my plan it. is I caught up to Record of Ragnarok. I'm all the way caught up. Nice. I'm nice, almost nice. caught up to Tokyo Revengers, but it's like, uh, do I want to? Like, everything I'm reading is like, uh, uh. so. But my plan right now is, is I'm reading Kingdom because uh, I've, I've been waiting to surprise Pharaoh and Tyler. But like, I'm, I'm catching up on that finally. Like, I promised them a long time ago I would. I ended up catching up on Fire Force before, like a bunch of other stuff. So it's like, it's Kingdom time now. I have a mutual on Twitter who's been reading through Kingdom, and I've been seeing like him. You got to commit. <laughs> I, he's been going hard into it. That's the thing. Hard. Like if you if you're gonna if you're gonna catch up, like if you're gonna read that, it's a lot of war, a lot of talk, speech bubbles to where it's not a it's not a lot of art. So you got to pay attention to what's going on. Mm-hmm. It's a commitment. Like when I read Kingdom, I don't like to read anything else manga wise. But when we get to our recommendations, I do have some good comics that I've been reading nice. that I'm excited to talk about. I actually have a good comic recommendation, too. I want to talk about that. Perf, whenever he hears it, he will be proud of me. Nice. Um, Kingdom is on my list. I've been seeing my my friend on the timeline pop off about it. It's just, it seems really all gas, no brakes. And I just need to, like, put my head down and go through it. That's so what I'm saying. It's, it's a commitment. It is. Once I'm caught up to JoJo's, that will be my next commitment manga so i've got two more parts of jojo's relatively short parts all things considered compared to the rest of it so should be fine after that jojo's my anime commitment like um, i i just like watching jojo's that's one that i love but you've been telling me the manga is really worth checking out i think for part if you once you get to part six i would recommend reading it reading it okay Netflix- Netflix is just fucking up that release so i'm on badly. the italian one with um what's my man's yeah, part- name Giorno. Yeah, Giorno, his ass. Part five. Part <laughs> yep. five. I, I really enjoyed watching part five. Reading part, it too, but part four was great though, but that's only because of Yoshihiro Kag. Like I I love uh Kira the like yeah. more so than Dio. He he has been the best villain of that. And I'm still a Jotaro guy, man. I'm not a Josuke guy. I, just, I love Josuke. He's just my favorite. I, I like Jotaro I, too. But... I'm Jotaro and, and old uh, old man John. <laughs> I'll say you'll like Jotaro even more after reading Part Six. Hell he gets yeah, gets a lot of char- good character development. Hell, with his daughter, yeah, I'm excited to meet yeah. his daughter. So fuck yeah. Some people, it's it's a divisive uh, part. Is what I'll say. So I'm curious to hear what you think of it, but I enjoyed it myself. Okay. Excited to get there. Yeah. So Spy Family taking some major W's. It has 17 million in circulation now. Hey, the anime Um, did it to it. It's exploding. Have you watched the anime? Oh, yeah. No, uh, that's one of the things that uh, I've read Spy Family, though. Like me and people, one of the people that like were like in the in the Discord who read it, but um, yeah, I watched the, the anime and we're going to uh, actually be reviewing that on anime talk. The first three episodes, I believe that that dropped. But I like I like what I saw. I like what I saw a lot. I thought that, I thought it was animated beautifully. I thought the uh, just the first episode in general, when they captured Lloyd and it's him saving uh, mm-hmm. old girl uh, Anya. I thought that was done really well. And I thought Anya's tel- uh, telepathy was really well. I'm, 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 I, yeah. I love what I see from Spy Family. I, Spy? Me, and, yeah. me and Pete said this would be successful because it combines things that people like me like and people like him like with the slice of life crowd in the family stuff. It's the perfect blend. It's one of those things where everybody can find something that they enjoy about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I agree about the telepathy humor. That's the same reason why Honestly, this might be the next thing I catch up with. That's the same reason why I enjoyed uh, Sakamoto days when I was reading it, was uh, the, of the humor. Yeah. And honestly, that's next up. Like, Spy Family's popping off right now. Once so- like Kaiju number eight and Sakamoto days are next up, in my yeah. opinion. I, as far that, as Miku Shonen Jump goes. That's what I'm feeling. They I hope, have to be. Like, I hope Undead Unluck gets a, 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 a anime treatment, which will raise the manga sales. I hope so, but I definitely agree with you in terms of like Kaiju number eight and Sakamoto days being like the next thing that they're going to be pushing that hard. Luck. It's so and original. It's saying, so good. I agree. I like the power system a lot in Undead Unluck. Um I think there I, I think it'll be more successful that, in the West. I though. think there are other limiting factors for it. Like the art style isn't as incredible as some of the other stuff. You That's have fair. to admit, like it is a little bit more simple. I don't think it's like bad that, or anything. Though. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. And I don't think 
there's not really like a waifu character for those types of people who care about waifus <laughs> to latch on to like spy family is fantastic but a big part of the reason why it's exploding is because of your being like yeah that's top, fair like the top waifu of the season i'll, right I'll say this undead unlux waifu you don't really meet her until like you get 50 chapters in and someone takes off a mask and then it's like okay, okay. you have one no there that's is one know. yeah and that's what i'm saying like once it gets an anime adaptation i think undead unluck will will finally get it's just due okay 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 i can fuck with it but good for spy because yeah. like yeah. honestly anime adaptation puts things to the next level and it deserves this push yeah uh another thing that got a big push for its anime adaptation um my dress up darling it's hit like it's pretty much doubled its uh sale since the anime came out it, it has 6.5 million copies in circulation with 3 million of that coming after Jeez. the anime was released so yeah like i said the power of a strong waifu is not to be <laughs> underestimated I didn't personally, I haven't really watched uh, Dress of Darling, but I, I can understand the hype based on what people have told me about it, I suppose. Um, my girlfriend, she's a cosplayer, so I'll probably end up watching that at some point just because I've heard it. It's pretty decent when it comes to like describing how cosplaying is as a hobby and what goes into Chris it. And Pete's stuff. bag, man. Chris and Pete's yeah. bag. So, you know, good, good for 100%. them. 100%. I'm, I'm yep. not I'm not going to hate on it. So like, you know, shout out to that. But, you know, it's something I might hate on, even though right. I like the idea in theory. I just don't know if I like the execution of the shoes themselves. And that's our next mm. story, which is the Naruto and Zion Williamson collab, the Naruto and Jordan collab. Uh, Kishimoto drew Zion a personal uh, artwork, which I thought was really dope. And if you've seen the clothes, I think the clothes themselves Ooh, are successful. I don't think the shoes are successful. The shoes are ugly as hell, but the clothes themselves, the Jordan Naruto clothes collab is really dope. Oh yeah. Those clothes. Are yeah. They, they, <laughs> there's some really dope clothes they're making, man. Like it's the shoes. Like the, that suck. The Naruto uh, jacket, bro. Like the yes. jacket design in the Sage Mode one. The, those are both so sick. Yes. And then the Sage Mode, uh, the Sage Mode shirt. Like I mm -hmm. dig that with like this with the us uh, the the spheres the sage mode spheres on the shirt the Naruto shirt itself like you said the um the QB link shirt that shit looks dope there's some more shirts too coming out with like Sasuke and stuff but the only shoe I would buy if you're looking up at the tweet it would be the second one which is the nine tails one the black and uh orange one mm -hmm. that white and black one is meh and then the I green just one I don't really like the dots going across. Yeah. Yeah, on those shoes that's the yeah. that's the issue like that bugs me <laughs> it looks weird yeah, they they could have done something better with that the qb ones are really they're really good though i felt yeah. that that's the only one but shout out to the I'll, uh the clothes design yeah I, I might actually i like the uh one where it's the design of naruto doing the rising on under his leg like that, <laughs> where he's doing the joy yeah. that's some like Fortnite level shit for me and i'm, <laughs> I'm super into it actually I, I think that's dope as hell yeah I can get i've down always with it. i've always been a fan of those like do you remember when we were like growing up how you would see like pictures of like the one i always remember is the dragon ball z villains and they're all wearing like dickies and, <laughs> yeah, tank and fucking timberlands and shit yeah. yeah like i've always been a fan of that sort of street like, look crossover. with anime yeah, yeah. I, I, so I this is just this is like the non meme evolution of that and i fuck with it super hard so I'm with i want you. more i want more of this that reminds me did you see the dolce and cabana uh gjk clothes yes those look badass <laughs> those will cost you a band yeah no, 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 those are super expensive and see wait okay so i'm looking at there's more shirts in the in the naruto collab like i was telling you like the sasuke stuff that shit looks great if you can find it like so but yeah no the I, i'll put it in the chat let's see okay yeah yeah yeah. because i'm on my phone though i gotta find it on my uh thing no worries just uh yeah i'll see you'll see it before the night ends but yeah no the, the but the jjk shit that shit will cost you a lot and it looks good but something that would cost you a lot that doesn't look good is the one piece gucci collab 
One Piece. I don't know, man. What is up? Like, <laughs> Oda is allergic to drip. Yeah, it's like just. I'm not going to lie. There's like three. I like a lot of the character sides of One Piece, but the drip is not what draws me to most of them. Like, Mm-mm. the villains are the only. The villains are usually icy. Everybody else is like, eh. Only like one. Dof- only Dof- main Dof- Dof- is and Law. Mihawk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dofi, Mihawk, and Kaido, icy. Everybody and King, icy. Everybody else. Like Luffy, uh, Zoro, uh, Sanji's the only one really on the Straw Hats who got drip in the in the women, of course. Besides, besides for the movies where they fuck up his look. Oh every yeah, time. <laughs> every <laughs> single time, man. <laughs> Bro, where'd your thighs go in those boots? Like, I know you're you're gonna lose your your feet if you, the circulation. You were- but shout out to Trafalgar Law because he's one pirate who's like a main character who has some some appeal to him. Hundred percent. Hundred percent tatted up, everything mm-hmm. like just yeah. Um, so we can move on to the sales for the week. Okay. Oricon. We pretty busy week actually. A lot of uh, stock getting moved. Some actual new stuff in here as well as some uh, old favorites. So for those of you who might be new. Uh, joining us or might have missed my explanation of what the Oricon sales charts are. Essentially, the Oricon sales charts, they measure um, the individual volumes sold for each series. So it's not, it won't measure in particular, like each individual volume. It's just every volume for a certain series, the amount sold for this week. Gotcha. So for instance, at number 10, We've got a really interesting title selling uh, 48,558 copies. We've got Cherry Magic. 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which Weird. seems to be based off of the ancient internet meme that if you don't have sex for 30 years, you get wizard powers. Okay, okay. Hey, look, Muhammad, I believe, believe if he didn't nut two weeks before a fight, he'd be super strong. So I mean, that's part of that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's always been superstitions about that sort of thing, I guess. Honestly, yeah, like gold, in Golden Kamui, they were talking about how in the third season they had a guy, like they had bannermen in the uh, Sino-Japanese war where they would be virgins because they believe and would lead the charge because they believe uh, bullets can't hit virgins. And look, the unsullied in Game of Thrones, they would ha- they would have their nuts. They just wouldn't have their dick. Yeah. <laughs> to keep, the, to keep uh, the testosterone. Yeah. So uh, that's probably some like random isekai <laughs> fantasy type <laughs> shit. Uh, but you know what? Maybe it's dope, and I'm just uh, judging it based. Oh, on I'm the hating. Title. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I'm, I'm definitely hating. <laughs> <laughs> At uh, number nine, we've got uh, Tacopi's Original Sin, selling fifty-two thousand six hundred or six hundred and eighty-eight copies. Uh, this is something I'm not surprised to see here. It's it's pretty much here every time a new volume drops. This is just a really cool. Uh, super sad um, story. I don't really okay. know how to describe it. Is it like, a drama? It, that, it is a drama. It really it's so it's about this little like octopus alien from a planet called Happy. They get sent out into the universe to make the universe happy with uh, all sorts of gadgets, essentially. And he sees and the real evil of the world of the of the universe. He, he lands on Earth, mm. and of course, Earth. And the first person he meets is like an abused girl, and he gives her all uh. these like gifts and stuff to try and make her happy. Does she use it to and, like kill people? <laughs> uh, something like that. Eventually, real? he gives her like a. Uh, he gives her. It's like a ribbon, and if you tie it to your friend it can mend your relationship no matter how badly you messed up and Mm. she's like all right well let me just take that and he's like well i can't do that my mom told me that you're not allowed i can't give our alien technology to humans unsupervised basically Uh... which makes sense and he disregards that essentially and um she uses the ribbon to like tie it to a fucking beam in her house and commit suicide damn okay so yeah i see what type of story this is okay 
makes sense but why then it's, there. it's like revealed a... the second gift he got her was like it was a camera and it was revealed that part of the camera's abilities were that you could go back in time to the moment you took a your last picture oh so, so she was able to be back, brought back he goes back in time like two days with the Ooh. knowledge of how it's going to happen and essentially he's trying to like make her keep her from doing that again god gotcha. solve her home it's kind of like erased i would uh, say okay that does sound like a little erased okay i get it yeah. Okay, and that's cool. all in the first chapter, what I just described. Real? So, okay, so that, <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's okay. I see why it's there then. Yeah, it's pretty dope, honestly. It's been a big hit in Japan. I wouldn't be surprised to see it get an English translation pretty soon. Um, at number eight, we got uh, that new soccer anime that came out. We got Aoi oh, Ashi. Ashi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that sold sixty two thousand eight hundred and eighty two copies. Have you uh have you watched that at all? No, see, I've I've been meaning to. It looks great. Like it, it looks things beautiful. About the it. anime, yeah. No, I know. I've heard pretty good things about it. It's more realistic compared to something like your like Blue Lock, from what mm-hmm. I understand. It's so. more about the sport. That that's one of those where it's like mm-hmm. about like the execution of like how they do yeah. moves and shit in soccer. Yeah. So, sounds pretty dope. It's somewhat older as far as mangas go from what i understand it's i think it might be like five or ten years old so oh wow it's it's established is what i should say not necessarily older um it's been around the block yeah that sold sixty two thousand eight hundred eighty two. like i said at uh number seven we've got comey can't communicate (laughs) selling eighty three thousand and five copies uh not really surprised here this was this was pretty popular whenever it was releasing last or season before last. Mm-hmm. Think, actually. Yeah, it was um, um not was this it past, fall or summer. I think it was this past fall, like the fall. Yeah. Bef- yeah. yeah. OK. Um, Going into the winter. Yeah. And it, it's obviously airing now. So that makes sense that it would get another spike in viewership and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I haven't. I actually haven't really watched the first or second season. I think I own like two volumes of it, though, actually. Well, I ain't never watched that, but that Chris loves it. <laughs> Shout out to my guy. That's his bag. I've heard pretty decent things. And, you know, Chris, uh, I trust his opinion on on that type of uh, shit. Yeah, uh, for on sure. most things. Yeah. <laughs> At uh, number six, we've got an old reliable old hey. faithful here. We got One Piece. Look, we're dealing with Joy Boy. It should be higher. <laughs> Whenever the volume for that release, oh, it's gonna be big. We should, yeah. We're gonna, we should expect that to be like number one for sure. Um, that's One Piece sold ninety six thousand five hundred thirteen copies. And I'm, and I'm gonna assume that not the uh the next weeks or whatever when the sales come for the next chapter, I'm gonna assume that to be really big because of what's going on in the anime at the time when that chapter yeah. drops. That's gonna be the big. Uh, Kaido seeing all the different past heroes in Luffy uh, thing in the anime. So I assume that week will be a pretty big week as well. Yeah, and you know, you raise a good point because it makes me kind of wonder, like, it makes me sad that that data breach happened because imagine what it would be like if it was supposed to be a thousand. Yeah, off. it was supposed to be like, after 1000 on the, the time we find out that Luffy is jo- like, that would have been huge. Yeah. And that fucked up my ghost game, my Digimon ghost game, too. Yeah, it did. So I, I'm forever mad about Chris it. Chris is still mad about that, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. He, he's a man of taste. Like I told you, I trust him. <laughs> um, at number five, we've got Detective Conan. Another, like, something oh, reliable. right up there. That, that's One Piece tier as well. Like, One Piece Dragon Ball tier right there. Selling 102,019 copies. I love Detective Conan. I'm just not caught up. Like, I, when, it, when it's on, I'll watch. And if I'm like, ooh, let me watch a mystery, I'll pick a random episode. But as for knowing... So much. Yeah, exactly. And as for knowing, like, the, what's going on in, like, the main story, not the uh, villain of the week shit, I have no idea. Like, th- who's involved with him trying to turn back to an adult? I have no idea. I'm just there for the yeah. mystery of the week. One hundred percent agreed. I think that part of this sales is because they announced that there's going to be like four more Conan movies at the very uh, least. So, okay. like, uh, so that'll make thirty Conan movies, if I recall correctly. Jesus, when are we going to get this guy back to an adult? <laughs> <laughs> 
Whenever Luffy becomes Pirate King. Hey, which one happens first? Detective Conan becomes an adult or Luffy becomes Pirate King? I'm saying Luffy becomes Pirate King. Luffy would become Pirate King first. For sure. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's not like a like Conan is. It's like the Simpsons. It's, so, it's something like The Simpsons, you know? It's more episodic compared mm-hmm. to the overarching plot of One Piece. As far as I'm aware, I could be uh, drastically wrong. There, there is, like, a, 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 a overarching arc of, like, this organization that Conan's trying to topple who, like, turned him into who he is. But, like, like I said, I have no idea. They're still fighting that organization. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. At number four, we've got uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. At 193,532 nice. chapter or uh, volume sold, I'm not I'm not shocked at this at all. Honestly, nope. um, it's Jujutsu Kaisen. It's gonna sell like hotcakes. I believe it just actually overtook One Piece for most volume sold this year. Oh, but nice! It's like it's only like a couple, like like ten or twenty thousand over or something like. And that. like we said, when that Joy Boy stuff happens, that's probably gonna change. Yeah. So. <laughs> Unless something big happens, happens for JJK, or like, yeah, or like a, a a volume that everybody really wants drops, like a cover everybody wants. Mm-hmm. Give me a Maki, give me a Maki cover. <laughs> <laughs> um, then number three, we got Golden Kamui rocketing up just in time for its ending. Mm-hmm. We should expect to see this on the sales charts for the next couple of weeks, probably. I would say it's really popular in Japan. Um, and the last volume, I believe the last volume just dropped as well, volume 29. So it sold uh, 195,765 copies. Uh, the next two, the top two have a pretty large jump, actually. So, uh, Lynn, if do you want to go ahead and oh, uh, yeah, I can, I can read those, yeah, for sure. Tokyo Avengers, it has 300. That 305,436 uh sales uh circulate things in circulation. Uh and then Spy Family has 494,803 copies sold. That's just in one that, week. Yeah, that's, that's on insane. episode that's on episode three. That's almost half a million, man. Like what? That's nuts. It's gonna do it's gonna get it'll to the probably, million. It's gonna it's gonna do JJK numbers. Like mm-hmm. it's at 17 million right now. So I'm full JJK is at like 50, 60 million, I think. I fully expect it to get to like at least 30. Th- <laughs> it's gonna get to 30 by the end of the manga or the end of the anime, and then it'll probably keep going after that because I can't imagine they don't announce a second season like immediately <laughs> after Soon this one. Ends. Ends. Yeah, for sure. 100 percent yeah. So yeah, but that's the uh that's the uh, chart for the week. Yeah, pretty uh honestly, solid week as far as sales go. Like compared to the last chart we read, where it was a pretty slow sales week and not really a big like. Usually, there's a really large gap between like the top four or five and the rest of everything else. Whereas here, there's only really a jump between uh, Tokyo Avengers and or uh, the top two rather. Yeah. And it really wasn't that big of a difference compared to like some weeks we'll have like JJK sell literally like 1.2 million copies uh, over the next one or some shit like that. I'm just shocked that My Hero wasn't in there with the big Dobby stuff going on right now. But if you look at the New York Times bestseller stuff, My Hero is the one that dominates in terms of Western. So the new volume is going to be coming out soon. Volume 29 of my hero did get announced. It's got star and stripe on the cover. Ah, that's going to be big. Looking looking stoned as shit though. She looks looks gone. (laughs) (laughs) That's going to be huge. I'm excited for that. I'll probably buy that one. Like you said, that's one, like a cover that like I I really want. I'll probably, honestly, I might buy that too. Like I I like star and stripe as a Mm -hmm. character. A lot her design is really solid. And the fact Despite that she's the looking cover, stone. Looking, yeah, like, you know, she's really enjoying her freedom. <laughs> uh, on to some, uh, like, just miscellaneous stuff we got going on here. Kodansha has announced a new slate of uh, English releases on the Manga Plus app. So I'll just go through these quickly. Uh, Len, do you see any that uh, kind of pop out to you that you want to... Um, Maybe the, talk about. Uh, I don't know about any of these, man. The only ones I'd be interested though in learning about are the battle manga. Have you ever? Uh, you never watched Mushishi? 
Oh yeah. Okay, so that's getting a release. I okay, so I've watched it's, that, uh, but like I never it's, finished. It's a it. mystery manga by the creator of Mushishi. Is oh, okay. A release in this batch. It's called uh the English title will be called When a Cat Faces West. So honestly, maybe it's a supernatural mystery manga. Maybe something to check out because I know you're a big mystery. Yeah, guy no, and... that that is definitely something yeah. I check out. I do like oh, yeah. mystery stuff for sure. Yeah. So as far as like battle manga goes, I think all we've got is um that first one. Uh that first one. Yeah, yeah. Rokudo uh Tokushiki or to- yeah. uh, Tosuki. The, the Rokudo rounds would be yeah. the English title. Ah, for that. okay. Let me take a look and see. Yeah, I'll Google that the same as you to see what it looks like. The Rokudo rounds. Oh, it looks so let's see. Ian has no prospects as a child of the slums. He ekes out a living by selling the scrap cyborg augmentations he scavenges to anyone who will buy. But when he's forced to go through some unethical experimentation, he transforms, making him eligible to become a fighter in the only thing that matters in this bleak world, the Rokudo Tournament. Yeah, I'm reading that. (laughs) It actually seems pretty... Character design looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. He's got like a devil may cry arm sort of thing. Yeah, that blue cybernetic shit. And then like, if you look at the images of like, uh, just go to Google Images, Jay, where you're at the first picture of seeing like his arm like yeah. break apart it, with like threads, and then like some of that's mechanical. That shit looks badass. Yeah, honestly, looks pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for this. That, that's pretty dope. Yeah, I'll check this um, out for sure. Next one we've got is we've got let's see, we've got what the vampire won't give up yeah vampire won't give up sorry i was looking up the uh synopsis for it real quick we've got the this vampire won't give up by madoka kitaji uh minami has awful luck with men she falls for the looks only to find out the worst of the worst so when she finds out that her next work assignment involves a good looking rudolph the batman she feels just fine about kissing any feelings from goodbye that is, until she finds out he's the son of the author of her favorite childhood picture book series, Bride of the Vampire. But the rude son soon changes his tune, and Minami doesn't have long before she discovers the secret his gorgeous lips hide. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is necessarily for me. Like, it's I, not for me. <laughs> I, do, I do have some, like, as far as vampire romance goes, like, Call of the Night is sort of my bag. Okay. But... I don't know about this necessarily. <laughs> I, I'll probably recommend it to some people that I know who would be more into it and see what they think. Gotcha. If you want, uh, I can read the next one while you look up the synopsis. So, yeah, the next one we have is Koga Kubu Kun Stole My First Time. Um, it, that's the English title. It's by Rin uh, Miyasa. So yeah. while, while Jay looks up the synopsis, I'm interested to see, see what this is about. Uh, Aiko Kagehara truly loves one thing in this world, the MMO she's played with her friends for the last 15 years in which she leads a fantasy life as a sought-after blacksmith. But when her friends start le- leaving to, of all things, get married, have kids, find new jobs, she's thrown for a loop. So much so, in fact, that she drunkenly shares her gamer ID with her hot new colleague, who just <laughs> happens to have been helped by her in-game in the past and wants to repay her by teaching her how to love? A brand new rom-com from the author of With the Sheik in His Harem. So, yeah, another uh, rom-com sort of deal. This one taking place in, like, a uh, an MMO. It's got that sort of uh, pseudo-isekai feel to it. Okay. This will probably be something that I think Pete might Would enjoy if, if it's good, you know? Okay. Also, okay. I've, I've got the uh, description of that uh, When a Cat Faces West real quick. I'll read okay, yeah, go ahead. Quick. So uh, flow, the phenomenon that occurs when matter falls out of balance and changes form. Flow creates oddities big and small that can be disruptive or delightful in equal measure. And it's up to the flow disposal department and independent contractors to shepherd the flow back to its natural form. For Chi Makondo, a 35-year-old woman stuck in the body of a 12-year-old thanks to the effects of flow, understanding how flow works and how to disperse it has become critical. But when she joins flow disposal contractors Hirota and Shacho of Hirota Flow Inc., she finds out that there's more to flow than she once knew and plenty more to find out. A supernatural story from the author of Mushishi coming out uh, May 17th. This is something I'll check out. Like you said, I I do dig mystery and I I like Mushishi. 
how it looked. So uh, I'll definitely yeah. give it out at least for, just for the art art itself. So definitely be something I feel will be very like comfy because mm-hmm. Mushishi. It's hard to describe. It's it's sort of like how Ghibli gives you those comfy feelings, you know, yeah. where bad stuff happens, but it, it there's looks... still hope a lot of the time and. Mm-hmm. I think that this will be a really interesting one to keep an eye on for sure. 100%. All right. Next up, we got Changes of the Heart. Uh, Changes of the Heart. It's a mature romance manga. uh, Hanu Switch by uh, Kugira. It'll be released in English digitally, like by Kodansha. So, yep. May 3rd will be when that comes out. Uh, After being dumped by her boyfriend, Koyori went to her longtime friend Hijiri's house to drink away her sorrow. And ended up spending the night with him. Not only that, he tells her he loves her, and she's not sure how to reconcile the new development with someone she's known since they were kids. After all, the stakes are high. If things don't work out, she'll hurt one of her closest friends. And to make matters worse, her ex wants to patch things up. Koyori needs to figure out what she wants before she loses it all. Mm. Uh, rated 18 plus, by the way. So, oh, mature, so mature, <laughs> mature I mean, not, not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily lewd, but probably will deal with some mature subject matters. Mm-hmm. Maybe like I'm sure sexual themes will be in there, but not necessarily like nudity or something like that. I guess. Yeah. Um, honestly, I like the the art style for this is uh, kind of cute. I like the way that the volume covers look. I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out. Actually, I'm gonna. It's also de- gonna be one of those ones where I'm like, hey Pete, why don't you uh, check this out for me? Yeah. This is. yeah. Let me know how it is for sure. All right, yeah. uh, next up, we got the twin rom-com uh, manga, uh, Oh, Those Hanazo Twins. <laughs> Tatara Tani is so average, it hurts. The only thing he has going for him is his childhood friends are the ultra-popular idol Yuriko Hanazono and her fashionable twin, Ronko Hanazono. They're both his classmates, and his long-standing relationship with them makes others seethe. So he thinks... He's hit the jackpot when Yuriko asks him to an amusement park with her, even though idols aren't allowed to date. She dresses up as Ronko to fool the world, but when her ruse is discovered by the school, it's up to the real Ronko to save her sister's rep- reputation by dating Tatara herself. This crazy rom com of errors begins. Raid 16 okay. plus out on uh, May 3rd. Okay, okay. A lot of rom coms dropping, but you know, that's good yeah. for the peeps that, that dig it. And then yeah. uh, I, I guess the Final one is the Ice Blade Sorcerer shall rule the world. I'm I'm guessing this is an is- isekai. <laughs> it's uh it's not actually. It's just oh, a okay. That's shocking. This is getting an uh anime adaptation at the same around the same time as its uh English release. Okay, yeah, it says January 2023. Yep. Uh so let me hit the summary for you real quick. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. Also on Kodansha. The Arnold Academy of Magic is a school for the elite, and Ray White is just your ordinary guy. In fact, he doesn't seem particularly skilled with magic at all and is a bit of a klutz, which is why he has nothing to do with the rumor that one of the great magicians, the Ice Blade Sorcerer, is a member of the incoming class, right? So this sounds a little bit, like, generic, but the art for it, seems nice. super dope actually okay. i'm posting it in the chat for you gotcha oh wait i posted it i'll just send you a link yeah that's cool actually that should open and up to it actually okay let's see what it looks like Ooh, this is interesting yeah so it looks kind of like a gr- i know like comparing a magic school to harry potter is very cliche but you know it's yeah. definitely the most famous one especially with the way that they're kind of dressed and it seems like there's some wand combat involved, some dueling sort of stuff going on. I might so check this out. I think this actually looks kind of dope, honestly. I'm yeah. gonna, I might peep that. Uh, I'm with you on this. Hopefully the anime is a decent adaptation as well. Gordon. All right. And then, uh, so we've been talking a lot about uh, Don't Say Mystery on the podcast because it usually pops up in the top 10 it didn't this month or this week for some reason probably because there's no new uh volumes out but it is however on the cover of uh, monthly flowers magazine okay to celebrate the magazine's 20th anniversary so monthly flowers is actually a pretty important magazine if you ever wanted to get into uh jose 
which is sort of like uh the Saini. it's like what seinen is to shonen jose is to shoujo it's so okay. it's m- mature um the it's a demographic of like mature women like 18 to 35 or so okay um this magazine has hosted stuff like Kids on the Slope, which if you've oh, never great. seen that yeah. anime, I highly recommend it. It's one of the it's one of the greatest of all time, period. It's um, incredible. As well as uh, hosting a few Revolutionary Girl Utina spinoffs, another pretty important uh, anime and manga. Very, it's very feminist, uh, led to a lot of people getting into manga because they didn't really feel gatekept anymore out of it um as well as many of moro hajio's work and she is like a considered a founding mother of the shoujo genre um would definitely recommend checking out some of her works if you're looking to get a feel for what laid the groundwork for some of the more popular shoujos you might know today like fruits basket and stuff like that okay cool um yeah don't say mystery has 16 million copies out in circulation doing that those spy family numbers mm-hmm. uh and for volumes one through ten and eleven should be coming out in june nice yeah that's gonna go up okay cool shout out to that genre yep uh oshinoko is out on the in english on the manga plus app it's releasing four chapters per week y'all need to get on that if you're not on it it's by the creator of Kaguya-sama Love is War. It is a drama about the idol and acting industry in Japan. Uh, highly recommend it. It's very, it goes very inside baseball about some aspects of it in a good way. It explains okay. the inner workings of like 4D plays and the idol industry and stuff like that very well. Uh, character designs are fantastic. Yeah, I just looked at the art. That, that look, It looks really good. It's super dope. I'm really shocked it has not had an anime announced yet. It should get one announced. With, like, it, it's on like where we were talking about. It's on the same level as like where we when we talked about how Spy Family didn't have a uh, okay. an anime like surprise. You know. Yeah, I got so you. I would definitely go check that out. Get ahead of the uh, the curb before people start. You know, <laughs> before it becomes getting popular on. Yeah, before people, it becomes people a big say thing. it's yeah just do it um and for those of you who are into like some western stuff we're seeing some crossover here um ruby is getting a manga spinoff for its new prequel coming out called ice queen ah, uh, okay which will be out june 27th so that should be pretty exciting honestly i know ruby is somewhat popular yeah in japan it's kind of popular here it's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. yeah uh, my, I know my brother really enjoys Ruby. Shout out Verson. Uh, yeah, I know so a lot of people lot that I, that I know like Ruby too. I never really watched it. I've uh, I liked some Red versus Blue stuff in the past. I never. I won't say I'm like a super fan or anything. Me neither. But, but yeah, so definitely gonna keep an eye out on that. I know a lot of people will be happy that that is getting some more attention. Hell yeah and uh yeah so that's that's it for the news we can go ahead and move on to weeklies and i think that the first thing that needs to be discussed for sure is i would like to issue (laughs) a um a mild apology to (laughs) sorry mangaka i know he's not going to hear this (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he's, he's not gonna hear this but because he's in hawaii. the whole twitter needs to needs to fucking apologize at the bottom <laughs> he's in hawaii with his wife and child but i just would like to apologize to yuki sabata because <laughs> while i don't think it necessarily nullifies some of the mickey mouse behavior that has gone on in the in the manga <laughs> i don't think it retroactively makes it better yeah <laughs> i gotta say that the twist that he pulled is a magnificent one. It is. And then when you look at it deeper, if you look at while the while the arc was going on at all the clocks, yes. he keeps changing time. Like what? Like yeah. the foresight to do that 
got to give him credit for that. But you're right. It doesn't excuse like some of the, the, the death shit that he does because he doesn't kill anybody. But I think that might be changing. Hopefully that changes because the yeah. theory is that when he kills someone, it's going to be Yami because the, the belief is that Yami has Lucifero's heart and Julius needs that. So. Can you explain the um what that means? What, what, no, oh, can what you the explain twist the twist what yeah, the twist is gotcha. to our viewers at home real quick? So for I those that don't know what the twist is, basically in my hero, there's these different type of devils. And uh we've seen like the bone devil, we've seen uh all these other different types of devils, and for the longest there was like who they didn't know who the time devil was. They didn't know who the time devil was. Well, hey, Black Clover, by the way, you said my hero. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Black Clover, excuse me. And they didn't know who the time devil was. And Julius is talking to one of the high ranking officials in Black Clover, and they're trying to figure it out. They're like, okay, so we took care of this devil. We took care of this one. Um, we, we know that uh, the about Cliff Off, the one that was with M- uh, Majekula, we know that there are three devils said to rule the underworld. Lucifer with his gravity magic. Uh, also known as Satan, Beelzebub with his spatial magic, and then Azeroth with his time magic. And when they said that, they were like, wait, the devil with time magic, and boom, the only person we know with time magic in the entire series in the world is King Julius, the Wizard King. And then as soon as he realized it, bam, he transforms into his, his who he really is, is which is Lucius Zogratus, the time mm-hmm. devil. Yeah, I've also I've heard theories that based on the Zogratus family that Lucius probably has like brain based magic, ah. which I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm looking over at JJK and I'm like, he really he, he really thinks he's him, huh? <laughs> like Brain magic. That's that's where we're going. But uh, like, uh, <laughs> it was, aside, like it, it was I'll, I'll say this in defense of that. It was set up where someone had bones, someone had muscle. Like, yeah, I, I, that was, is dope. I will I will say that. Like, so we got a three month hiatus coming out of that. He needs to give him the break. Let him. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Let the man. I'm gonna let the man cook. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stop my black clover slander until <laughs> the end of the final arc, unless some truly egregious things happen. <laughs> happen. Yeah, fair enough. But so. you know who's in a final arc that I'm loving? My hero, man. My goodness, the shit with Dobby in in Todoroki. Arguably, I know in in our Discord, I know you and Jazz talked about it about how y'all think that's the best part of my hero. For me, it's the second best. But what it's doing. The way that it to- told an abuser storyline and, and uh, not necessarily the redemption of an abuser storyline, but how to cope with it and how people deal with the PTSD. More of him of, trying to, him trying to atone. atone yeah, and, like, and, yeah. And, and, and people dealing with that. One of the best stories. And to see Dobby and Todoroki square off this past week and to learn Dobby's backstory about how he was supposed to be Shigaraki, but he was too evil even for all for one. That was badass. Yeah. <laughs> Like Dobby was too crazy for awful. Awful was like, nah, bro, I'm not putting my brain yeah. in your body. Fuck that. Yeah, nah, nah, I'm not trying to get extra crispy. You're not <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. So, I've been, but I've been kind of a hater on my hero at points in my life. I'm not gonna lie. And I know it's okay. when it comes to wow, wow. <laughs> when it comes to the anime, when it comes to the anime, you know what? I'll probably always be a hater. No, that's fair. They're like, not as a, as a my hero stand. The anime pisses me off to no to no end. Like that should be so. It like in the West, if the anime was what it was, it should be like DC and Marvel. Like like I think the story's good enough. It's just like the adaptation is trash. Yeah, I think that Horikoshi has just been put in like his ankles into this arc. Like he's. Some of the like spreads I've seen with Shigaraki, Nuts. he puts his whole like all of everything into it, and it's like, and we see his like just, in, his Akira inspiration too with Shigaraki, like some of like bro yeah. is Tetsuo, like <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent right about that. <laughs> but uh, My Hero's great right now. Ever since I would say My Hero's been on a run, you can say since Deku went all Venom Deku mode and fought uh, Shigaraki because after that, you get the prison breakout, you get Stars and Stripes, you get Deku mastering the quirks, 
And now we're here. Like, like you said, Horikoshi has had his foot on like knee deep in it. And I'm loving what he's been doing. Let me ask you a question about my hero real quick, about the power system. Go ahead. Do you think Horikoshi regrets saying it was genetics? Because, like, mm. I don't understand how some of these powers can be genetics. Like, how does Star and Stripe's power work genetically? Okay, so... she has the abil- She has the ability to change, to ignore physics. So I think it's... I think, okay, so the genetics thing, I think, is more so for, like... I, I mean, it's kind of like... Like, I think the way I look at it is like, so certain people, if your parents don't have it, like you're a rando, like you get a random power. And then if you have kids with someone, the kid's power is more so genetic. Like, and I do think he regrets it. I think he should have made it to where it was like, everyone's just a mutant and you just have, like, you're just born with the power. Do you think he just did that because of like the X-Men sort of I don't think, I didn't think he wanted to- I don't think he wanted not to, to copy, copy it, yeah. but I, I, I'm not saying to copy. I just mean as like a more of like an because there no, is no, no, obviously it, it's inspiration 100% from an homage. American comics. No, yeah. for sure, I, I agree with you. I'm saying he did the genetics thing so he wouldn't copy uh, the yeah. mutants because I think he wanted to just make them just superpower beings with no explanation. But yeah. in Shonen, you need an explanation. Like I think, I think that was more so Shonen Jump making him give an explanation than him necessarily wanting to put one yeah okay i can kind of understand that i think if he didn't i guess you know whenever you're writing a manga it's a bit different you don't really have the time to you got to kind of say something right then and there you don't have the time to he should have just made it to where the power system is you're born with a power and it's the luck of the draw you get it you get it you don't you don't and if you have parents that have two powers then that can affect what you get, but it doesn't necessarily, yeah, it. Yeah, it, but it doesn't yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah. have to. That's what he should have. Okay. Been. Yeah. But then I think if you do that, then the issue with that is like so much of Todoroki's character is based around eugenics. Yeah. Like, he's, he's the main one. Like he's like the, the really the only one that like that really affects because like Bakugo's parents have like two different, like Bakugo's dad is a lighter. And like his mom has some other like she can shoot sweat bullets. <laughs> like, how, how do you get like glycerin bombs from that? Like that, yeah. like Todoroki is really the kid that that's about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent agreed. So, but you know, I'm I'm uh it, to me, I think it's the the manga that does superhero stuff the best. I know people would say Ottoman, and I need to read Otto Man, but if excluding Otto Man between like just one punch man. In this, it does super. It, it it is more superhero than manga to me. Whereas One Punch Man yeah. is more manga than superhero. I need to catch up with One Punch Man. I me saw too. I heard it. Yeah, <laughs> it's looking fire right now. I saw yeah. some shit with Goro, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. That's um. It's on my plan to read. Same like, for same. sure. Uh, let's see what else. What why, else? Why don't you talk about JJK since I talked about two since I didn't read it? Oh, JJK. Lynn, you missed out on some good stuff in JJK. You need to catch up. So yeah, that, we that's got a fight. We got a fight that started Hikari versus oh, Charles. Oh, my favorite guy! Like I'm, I've been waiting to see him do shit. Now he's doing shit. Okay. Yeah. So Charles is a um uh, That's Gojo's relative, huh? No, no, he's not. Oh, he's, he's not. Okay. He's a French. He's a French manga mangaka. He's a French oh, okay. mangaka, and his power is he has like a uh, pen. And if he hits you with it, it puts a manga panel on you. <laughs> and when it puts the manga panel on you, it get, allows him to see what you're going to do two seconds into the future. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it's That's like an you. it's like an outline sort of deal. So he has to still be able to see you to be able to see what your future is doing. Okay. And stuff like that. Can you get it's outside pretty, of it? Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, I believe you can uh like it's like a time based thing. So if you avoid his attacks long enough it'll go away. Go away. But since gotcha. he has he has the future sight, he can see where you're dodging and stuff. So Okay. And uh it ended with Hikari uh doing his domain expansion. So we oh, will nice. see that next, next week. week. Oh, I'm I'm going to catch up for just for that. Okay. Lit. Yeah. H- lit, yeah. lit lit lit. And him and uh Hikari have a really good um like back and forth, I feel. They're definitely setting Charles up to be like a um, 
an ally. Like, he is going to be a friend of the crew for sure, I feel like. Okay. Fuck yeah. That's dope. Shit. Yeah. You know, you know what is dope? Ayashimon and finding out what our guy is, baby. Going to <sighs> going to that madman uh, and getting all those pins poked in him and like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, I'm, I'm loving Ayashimon. I'm loving I'm it. I'm actually like a chapter behind on Ayashimon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. My bad. No, no, no worries. No worries. It doesn't, it won't affect me too much. Basically, I did see... all that, that is, is they're figuring out what human's abilities are. Like, I, what, what is this human? Like, how, how what's, yeah. he's finally explaining doing, his powers, yeah. They're doing the chakra test or the nin test on mm, him, basically. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. So. I saw that a, par- a lot of people on Twitter were freaking out about, um, like, some, some sack stuff going on. They were having sex? No, sack, like the oh. Tanuki's ball sack. Oh, yeah, yeah, that 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 did happen. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you not in the know, essentially they went into a building that had like a full hot spring <laughs> and like hotel and casino, I think casino in it or That's something it, too. Yeah, it was a casino. And it, and it got revealed that the entire like skyscraper sized building was a Tanuki's nuts. ball sack. <laughs> That was badass. I saw people hate it on, and it's like chill. Like it's a weird, like Japanese folklore is weird, and this Mm -hmm. is based on Japanese folklore. Um, Exactly, and like, bro, when I saw the fucking demon, uh, when I saw the hooker turn into a a a dick, a dick monster, I was like, oh, I know what I'm in for. Like, if you didn't, if you didn't see that, he did that in chapter one. Like he told you what time it was in chapter one. So like, that's on y'all. So. Ayashimon, and we'll get to this whenever we discuss the table of contents close to the end. Um, it hasn't been doing so well on the table of contents in Japan. Why do you, what do you think the reason for that is in your Maybe opinion? demon fatigue? Maybe. I think that it is a bit of fatigue for the supernatural battle stuff. I've also heard that people don't like Maruo as a uh, protagonist. As like this Deadpool kind of third, like He's kind of one the, note. Yeah, he's kind of like, one note. He is. He is. I do like him, but I do too. He only ever get. He has like two emotions right now, more or less. Yeah, and the fact that we, he's like a manga him. fan, and like it's kind of like poking fun at like shonen fans. Yeah. Like I get it. I get it. But I like Mario. I like him too, and we saw hints of him the ability for him to be deeper at the beginning when they were talking about like his dad, and, and we see that in the most recent chapters of like okay what he's Don't. like his growth and whatnot. So I hope that we can see some like a a good turning. We need a chapter where there's like a turning point for the character mm-hmm. where he realizes that it's not like a game, like. It's this is real like for the character. This is real life. Like, I think this that's is coming. Real shit. Yeah, I think that's coming. So hopefully that something like that happens. It doesn't have to be like edgy or anything necessarily. I just want it to like kind of you know get on track more or less. I'm with you. And then and but, I, I, lo- I love Yuji Kaku, so I, yeah. I hope you can clutch it out. I agree. Also, Kaiju number eight, incredible. The new chapter dropped today absolutely phenomenal and we and we finally get back to my boy reno ishikawa's story if you're not reading kaiju number eight do it do it do it it's great it's on my it's on my list it's on my list like, oh man it is great and then of course one piece continuing the uh the joy boy stuff that that stuff's fire um yeah but, that yeah. that last page was fucking dope the big, gigantic that big hand face. man we're gonna see what happens like does you, kaido get beat we're gonna find out i mean I doubt it. <laughs> you don't think he's going to get beat by that? Not, not by the fist. No, I think he's going to trigger his backstory, though. OK, yeah, we could use some Kaido backstory. And, and I think it's going to be too. more so where like Luffy and everybody's going to have to hit him together. To short of shit. Oh, they're going to use some power friendship shit. I, that's kind of what I'm feeling. But, you know, we shall see. What is anybody else going to do? I think it's going to be more so like uh, if did you see Stampede? No. Okay, so in Stampede, the way they beat Bullet is they do a combo attack where, like, Law sets up a bunch of shit to where they hit the big thing into where it opens up to where Luffy's fist could hit it. I, I could see something like that happening. Okay, I can... So some Black Clover team up. Yeah, that, shit. that type of shit. Yeah, exactly. Okay, 
it would be dope if it did happen. Um, what would kind of like how, kind of like how they do did Zorro against Zoro. What would you do if Zoro just kills Kaido? See, I, I don't know it. Funny enough, I am not against the ZKK shit. I actually okay. think, I actually think there's some merit to it. Funny enough, and I'm hmm. I'm of the belief that if Luffy knocks out Kaido but Zoro kills him, I actually like would like that because that's that's kind of their dynamic is like. Luffy beats the will, but Zoro has to be the guy to do that because he's the Zoro vice captain. The, he's yeah, he does it. Like he does the dirty work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I wouldn't be mad at it. I'm not one of those ZKK haters. I'm the people that hate against, oh, the raid's a failure. Like, I hate those fucks. Like, the raid is not failing. And you know me, Shanks is not a snitch. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. I... That's where I were like. That's my one, one piece, piece is at, one shit. piece is at like the bottom of my list, <laughs> just because of how long it is. But one day, one day it'll. Stick. And one you have day. so many people talk to you about it always. They like you know it's That's going exactly on. it. Like I know, I feel like I don't have to read it a lot of the time. I just know what what the hell is happening. Happening, regardless, yeah. You know. <laughs> but that's pretty much it know. of all of the maybe stuff I, that dropped this. Maybe week. after Wano ends, uh, check it out. You give uh, it a watch. Seems like no, nah, I would read it. Oh, I read it, yeah. No, that's what I meant. Give it a give yeah. it a, a read. The pacing on the anime is just it's too trash. Bad. But 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 I will say if you read it, go and watch some of the episodes that you personally like because the anime right now, at least for Wano, has been I've heard, incredible. Yeah, I've heard it was a big step up. Wano has just, been like, and I think it's because Oda, because Wano has been so big that Oda couldn't go as fully in depth as he wanted to. So I think he told the anime to expand on certain things and the things that they have expanded on has been with One Piece fans of the manga have wanted. They've been like, in other arcs, we get this, 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 but in the anime, you're getting that instead of the manga. So I think it's interesting how Oda's working with the manga to expand his story. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like a lot of One Piece's popularity in the US was kind of soiled by a poor adaptation. So it's good that Mm-hmm. In the original four kids adaptation is what I mean. So it's yeah, good that we're getting a good adaptation now. No, and you're right. Because that, that, that can really influence a lot of people. Um, moving on, we got, I'll just uh, go on to the table of contents and then okay. we can do our recommendations for the week. Gotcha. Uh, so table of contents for Weekly Shonen Jump this week. We got the lead color page is going to Old Faithful One Piece. We got Jujutsu Kaisen at number one. Then My Hero Academia, uh, Akane Banashi, which is, I believe that's that Rokugo. Um, yeah, that trash they, they put in there. <laughs> what, you think it's trash? No, I'm just, I'm just, trash? I'm just hating because they canceled okay. shit that I love. Yeah. Fair enough, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, I'm just hating. Like, like, I don't know if you ever read Hell Warden's Haguama on there, but. Never you, heard of it. If you ever get the chance. Go on the Shonen Jump app and read Hell Warden Aguama and tell me that doesn't feel like New Age Yu Yu Show and how you're, uh, uh, you would be upset that it didn't get continued. More so than okay. Red Hood, Hell Warden Aguama, it's, a, it's a, a, a travesty that that shit got canceled. <laughs> like I, when I was doing my predictions of like Demon Slayer and Promise Neverland and JJK, that was the other one I said would blow up. And I was, I was, uh, three for four because i thought it was gonna blow up but then it gets canceled like it's power system everything about it was dope i don't know why yeah. that didn't work but yeah man. Feel, that was me that was me and crystal with phantom series. phantom C- yep. yep 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 and uh then we got got uh sakamoto days nice uh, super dope i need to catch up on it i've loved a lot of what i've read of it uh yasha rosetsu after that unsure what this is and honestly um google is not very helpful from what i understand it probably has something to do with like buddhist mythology okay um then we have a one shot called arata magata uh let me google oh yeah that's this that's that's, that's new well, where's this at? Uh, let's see. let's see i don't see it on the uh on the app that's crazy it's just in the magazine, I think. Ah, I got you. Okay. Yeah. So that got a one shot and a color page. It's 47 pages long. Uh, Black Clover rocketed it up a lot because of that <laughs> new chapter. Yeah. It's entering its final arc. Um, again, it's going to probably be pretty low from here on out because of the three month or mm-hmm. actually it won't be on the, it won't be on the 
table contents at all. Yeah, um, they're gonna keep it off. We, we got me and Robico. Usually, this is usually shoot. about where this <laughs> is at. <laughs> after, after that, we got the high Q one shot with a color page. It's oh, nineteen cool. pages long. Um, elusive Samurai, Earth Child, uh, Mission Yozakura family, which I love. Oh, I love Mission Yozakura family. Yeah, um, I've heard good things about it. It, it is it, it is great. If you like mafia shit, it's great. Okay, good to know. And then uh, Undead Unluck is also here getting a color page. Nice. So at least even that. though at, at even though it's at the bottom, it got the color page. That t- it, that says it's like in, it's hard and steady in the middle. It's got yep. That tells me it's got like a cult. It, exa- that, and that, and like that it's, it's, got its, loyal, it's got its loyal fans. Mm-hmm. And it's that's crazy. all you need to get an anime is if you have a cult following enough that does enough sales. It's going it, to shout out to Undead. It's going to get it. Yep. And then after underneath that, we got PP, PPP. Trash. <laughs> Neither of us care about that. Which watch? <laughs> Which watch doing pretty okay? For a new uh yeah supernatural battle shonen. <laughs> then after that we got Blue Box. Um, uh, shout out Krissa and Pete. Pete. Yeah, that, that's like their bag. This. Yep. And then underneath Blue Box, surprisingly, we got Mashal. Yeah, shocking uh, that it's that low. Isn't Mashal entering its final arc too? I don't know about that. That might be true. And if it is, shocker, because Mashal. I thought Mashal would have went along, went went up for a little bit because it's comedy. I thought it just would have kept continuing that story. Something about it being close to ending, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, High school family underneath that, and then the bottom three, as we are used to, as it has been for every episode this season. Or I don't like that Doron. I don't like that Doron Doron Ron. Not a fan. We got yeah, we got Doron Doron Ron. Which, oh, it's halfway complete. Honestly, uh, uh, ah, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. the creator says the creator reassures fans and says series is only halfway complete. Ron Duran Ron is just like the name of a guy you could meet in New Iberia. <laughs> um, it's too much like it's too much like Demon Slayer and all the other shit that we've yeah. seen. It just is. Ayashimon right underneath that. Sadly. Tra- and, trash. <laughs> and Tra- protect me, Shugamaru at the bottom. And when so I say that bottom, the trash thing about when I say the trash thing about Ayashimon, I'm talking about his positioning, obviously. Yeah, the I get you. Because I, me and I, yeah, Jay yeah. love that that story. I wish it could do better, but the axe is like hanging above its neck. Jeez, right man, it's, no. It's get it, it's it's scraping by on like volume sales alone. I know. Now. Oh, we gotta keep buying those volumes, keep it around. <laughs> I'm gonna probably I gotta buy some for sure. Yeah, I got to too. <laughs> I'm a Yuji Kaku fan. You and Krista got me in there with uh with uh Hell's Paradise. Hell's yeah. Paradise, yeah. And I like a Yashimon. That's it's my like just the fact that it's doing Yakuza, and I think it's doing it in such an interesting way. Oh, it's just it's, like yes, it's unique. It's a, it still is. a pretty unique take on the and that's my thing, like natural battle manga. The ones play, that play I'm seeing get right. axed and not liked are unique, like it's Phantom Seer, unique as fuck. This uh Ayashimon, unique, uh Hell Warden Hagwama, unique. Um, Undead Unluck, unique. Like, I think those are just very unique stories. Yeah. Hopefully, Undead Unluck is safer than the rest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So, <laughs> that is unfortunately the table of contents for this week. Some disappointment as usual at the bottom there, but other stuff, you know doing pretty well in an unsurprising way i'm honestly i'm really surprised akane but not uh, she is doing so well so yeah i know people like it i'll have to check it out to see what the hype is about and, and when you do just um, let me know how it is so i can stop hating if it's actually good okay I'll, I'll be sure to do that honestly i don't think i think it's not that far in so i'll check it out um and now we can move on to our recommendations for the week okay. so you we'll, we'll start with um our manga recommendation. So what manga would you like to recommend? Like, hmm, do I have a new manga to recommend? Hmm. Uh, can I reckon, a- recommend an anime, funny enough? Because I don't have a manga. Yeah, you can. Yeah, but you can recommend I'll, recommend, That's fine. Des- I'll, I'll recommend Desert Punk. If you've not seen oh, Desert yeah. Punk, 
then it's worth checking out. It's on Hulu. I absolutely love it. it it's a little bit more comedy than Black Lagoon and Trigon, but it's right in that bag. It's about a, a, a fixer slash hitman in uh, the West in a in a in a the uh, uh, apocalyptic style desert, and basically it's he goes on these missions being a hitman or fixer. Uh, and his name is um, uh, it's not Koza Burrow. It's like um, something like that. I can't believe I'm, I'm blanking on the Desert Punk's name right now. But he is the man. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm about to Google it because he's the real deal. Uh, uh, and uh, hold on. Oh, man, this is going to bug me because it's in the Kanto Desert. And it's all about the, the great Kanto region. And, it, uh, and it's about surviving in that. And it's about dealing with all these different mercenaries. Okay, it's uh, his real name is Kanta Mizuna, and he's known as the uh, demon of the desert. He has the shotgun. Oh, it's Son of Bozu. That's it. There we go. Son of Bozu. He is the man, and uh, Desert Punk is definitely worth checking out. If you don't want to watch the anime, read the manga, which I have done. It's just as good. Just as good. Burn. So, I'll have to peep that. I am going to recommend... I think my recommendation for this week, yeah, okay, I'm going to recommend uh, Usogui. I believe I'm pronouncing that properly. It is a gambling manga oh, okay. and would definitely recommend it. It is, it's sort of like, it's gambling mixed with like underground sort of deals, like drama, a bit of psychological stuff, like high stakes games that sort of thing if you if you're into like kakigori and stuff like that this is kind of like kakigori but with less waifus but overall better so i would recommend okay that. hell i do like kakigori so i'm gonna check this out what's the name again yes. one more time uh usogui so that's u-s-o-g-u-i okay hell yeah i'm gonna check this out it's uh completely finished it's got 541 chapters that's so not that bad maybe yeah, so maybe after you're done with Kingdom, you know. That's what I'll look into. Yes, sir. Yep. All right. And as for, uh, what about... Uh, oh, no, comics. I, yeah, I yeah, got You some, said you had some con some comic I do. So Batman the Imposter, it is uh, really great. It's a DC Black Label comic, which means it doesn't follow the uh, current canon. It's its own story, self in its own. And one of the reasons I really like it, if you look at the art, it's... I'm not going to say it's inspired by uh, the Batman, the new movie, but it's it's written by the same guy who wrote it with Matt Reeves. So this is his style of Batman. And I really like what they go into. Nice. It's a really great story. It's a gritty Batman, but not in the sense of like Frank Miller's Dark Knight. No, it's gritty in the sense of like them going into his psychology and like the real darkness of yeah. it. I, I really dig that. And then I've been getting into Star Wars again recently, and there's a great Star oh, Wars comic. Where, sorry, where can you find that at? Can you oh, find that uh, on the DC Universe app? Yeah, I what? think so. I'm, I read it by uh, renting, or by not renting, buying it on the uh, Comixology and, or the Apple uh, uh, Books app. So it's, it's okay. on Comixology. It should be on DC Universe. If it's not, you can definitely like get it at wherever you get comics in your local comics or at Comicsology, which is the main uh, comics awesome. hub. But in terms of Star Wars, like I was saying, I've been getting into Star Wars. And the other comic I recommend is called Tales of the Jedi. It's a Legends comic. But to me, watching Star Wars Vision showed me that I just want Jedi stories that aren't Luke Skywalker and his family. And that's what Tales of the Jedi are. It's in the past, so far away, and it's just dealing with early Jedi versus early Sith. And the characters are very lovable. Tales of the Jedi, super dope. I don't know if you saw, but there's actually a bunch of Star Wars Legends manga coming out too. Yeah, you talked about that so, with Visions. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna read all so that. That'll be shit. pretty dope. Yep. Um, as for my uh, non manga recommendations, I'm gonna recommend the. <laughs> I'm gonna recommend the IDW Sonic the Hedgehog comic. Nice. Look, Sonic is killing right now. Sonic Two was so, fucking great. IDW Sonic currently they have they've introduced two new characters, um, which are Surge the Tenrec and Kitsunami the Finnick. I'm about to look this and up. They are based off of glitches in the original games. One of what? them that turns like tails blue, and the other one called the Ashura glitch. Um, 
they're basically Android 17 and 18, but for Sonic. They want they want to fuck his day up. They hate oh, him. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Surge has like electricity powers and stuff like that. Kitsunami controls water. Uh, a Tenric is actually known as a false hedgehog as well. And uh, Fennec is obviously something that uh, an animal that looks like a fox, but is not actually related to them. Okay. So th- they're meant to be like foils to Sonic, Sonic and Tails. Yeah. And oh, okay, so that, Surge uh, is like blue and Phoenix yeah. is... Oh, no, Surge is green, I'm sorry, and Phoenix is blue. Okay. Yeah, she looks pretty sick, honestly. Yeah, I like Surge design, looks badass. Yeah. yeah, with her with her green ponytail with like doing that electricity. Okay, this shit looks dope. I'm reading this IDW thing with all... Because there's a bunch of new characters. Yeah, it, it's really cool. I'm super into it. Uh definitely something to check out if you're a fan of sonic at all or you know even if you're if you if you're not a fan maybe you'll find something to enjoy about it yeah i love sonic so this is perfect i'm into this yeah like look at this cover like this cover is badass with her riding the rails with the electricity now i'm into this there's another one i'll send it to you in the chat after we're done that i think you'll really enjoy as well hell yeah so I think that will just about do it, do it? for okay. do it for us. So Lynn, why don't you tell the people where they can find you on social media? You can follow me at Lynn BWT on Twitter. Follow the bros who think at bros who think. If you're on TikTok, follow me at Lynn and James Burton. Join the TikTok wave. I'm posting for a day and, and we're trying to get it popping on TikTok. Um, a lot of stuff has dropped in the network. If you're hearing this by now, the latest bros who think podcast is out. Uh, anime talk should be out. If not, by the time you hear this, it'll be out the next day. Bros who binge is out now. And then uh, next week, be on the lookout because Run It Back should be back next week. A lot of good stuff. Oh, as well as the One Piece manga reviews will be back this weekend on Sunday. So a lot of stuff is, is going to be out. So be sure to check out all that. But you can find all of that by either subscribing to the YouTube if you're watching this, the Bros Who Think Network YouTube, or following uh, the Bros Who Think on Twitter at Bros Who Think. Oh, yeah. And as always, you can find me on all platforms at shard based as in like a shard of glass and based as in little be the base <laughs> god. Um, <laughs> so uh, give me a follow if you like that. You can also follow the podcast at Manga Melee Pod on Twitter. Uh, TikTok for the pod should be going up at some point. I'm planning to do some small side content and, uh, uh, you know, just updates about stuff i'm reading every now and then on tiktok and on twitter uh soon and uh we should have a hopefully have a larger project announced uh once me and lynn get some uh some some bones laid down for it is what i'll say there. yeah it's gonna be so this is something i'm excited keep your, about. keep your eyes out it should it should be really exciting yeah i'm excited um so that is gonna do it for us on the uh on mongo melee pod thank you for listening and have a good day